But look, it's been a lot of out here that don't like girls, you know what I'm saying, in the United States of America. So a lot of is just taking a different approach. They don't like these out here no more. So what they doing is they getting their passport and they going to foreign countries and grabbing them and bring going them back. grabbing them and bringing them back. You know what I'm saying? They call the passport boys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get you a nice little Spanish thing or you know a black African queen with the year in the mean. You see me talking? That's more. They send the girls are over there overseas are more submissive. Well, yeah, third you know world countries, motherfucker. Their see, fucking culture is different. Not, everywhere not. in a third world country though. You know what uh, I mean? Most like, places are other than the United like, States. You know, look, you feel me? Come on, dog. You going to, no, you going I'm to a, Puerto I'm Rico? A, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not knocking nobody that do that, but to me, that kind of is like taking creepy. advantage of the situation. Yeah, it's kind of creepy because you got the upper hand, right? Because a, a, of, a lot of times people go to like DR, they go to Brazil, they go to Colombia, and then they'll, they'll pay, you know what I'm saying, $100, $200, and you feel me? So you wouldn't agree that the girls out here in the United States of America, like they aren't as submissive as the girls no, no, out no, there? No, Like, because they're still like, you know, Morally sound with that type of shit. You feel me? Like they. No, I still, think what they saying is that I think what they saying is they that they need their money. So when you go to these countries, you obviously already have the upper hand. The fact that you're American. Okay. So you show up and you got, you have a hundred bucks for them. That's a million dollars. So you go. I, what are we talking about? Like just showing no money or sex. But, but, but what's the difference? Because out here, if you famous. You don't you don't know if a girl genuinely loves you because you are who you are and you have mm, money. Good point. You feel me? And then when you when you have money, you, money still these women still aren't as submissive as the girls. You know what I'm saying? Are the women overseas? So niggas is taking their talents. I don't think elsewhere. I don't. You know think, what I'm saying so, so. Should we do that? But I don't think that that's just an overseas thing. I think it's the type of women that men go for. You feel me? A lot of niggas want money. Go for the same type of women. There is women. Out out here that are submissive there are women out here that's gonna hold it down and do all type of shit like that but i feel like when niggas go do the passports and shit like that like these people they bring them home thirsty is kind of thirsty it's, it's i mean it may be fun for some but to me like you taking advantage of the situation you bring somebody home that don't speak no english like you down there trying to make them a slave and shit like that i mean but what's the difference if you in a club and you buy stupid bottles and you you know you taking advantage of a fan bitch you feel me or a groupie bitch or are you performing and you taking a taking a, a fan a, advantage of the fans and you know fucking them under the bus like what's the difference no but i think um, <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> That shit threw me off a little bit. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? No, no, yeah. but, but he's saying... I, no, no, I, I definitely get what he's saying, but I think with them, I think it's more of a culture thing. Like, they real life not going to fucking love you because of the simple fact that, oh, you're a handsome, good-looking, nice person. It might be a fucking familiar, like, like, for like a family thing where it's going to be like, you know what? Hey, like, let's just say you're in Mexico, right? Let's say you go to Mexico, right? Yeah. You pull up to whatever Pueblo. Let's say you go to where my mom's from, right? And, and they were like... That's a black man. He's probably American. He could get your papers. You could lock it in for the rest of the family. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. It's more of a force thing. Out here, they have way more options. Because out here, you can have money without being famous. You know what I'm saying? Out there, most people are just are just rich. You know what I'm saying? So, but still, though, it is kind of taking advantage of a little bit, but would y'all do it? Because the smack they, said, bing! Because a nigga bring an overseas girl out here thinking, oh, man, I'm going to knock him for the bitch. She's going to be with me. Thank you for bringing her. Thank you for bringing her, dog. Yeah, I mean, no, no, but no. would you do that, though? Would you nah, go over there? Nah, I'm not going over there and I bring nobody back because that's taking advantage. Yeah, I yeah. knock mine's here. So I think it's different if you just show up and you know it just because of where you're from in, in the world, you could easily get that advantage. Like, that's the creepy shit. But I think, like, Jenny, like, like Jenny, for you go to Africa for a month, for you meet a nice little tribal girl and you really fall in love and bring her back, right, girl. Bro. You feel me? It's different, right? Yeah, you know I mean. You feel me? See, it's different if I go to Mexico and meet a little paisa. Yeah, I mean. Like, yeah, I finna lock it in. You feel me? You need papers? Come on. I mean, would you want to go over there to Mexico, get a true Hispanic woman with the nice values, gonna cook clean, be, you know, and be doing all and rub that fat ass belly? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know that sounds pretty nice. Not really, you know, she don't know about the YouTube, the brown bag. She don't give a fuck about what you got going on. She's just trying to eat and chill with you. Yeah, but she ain't going to be able to come back right away. She got to fix her paper. For like, she you her papers, fool. Yeah, but you just the don't. Passport boys. Yeah, but you just don't go there and go like, hey, she's coming with me because I have papers. That's just the whole process. Man, let's keep it real. Them niggas go out there. They, they, they fuck 10, 15 bitches. And they're like, you want, I like you. You coming back with me. That's it. That's what they doing. Man, that's crazy, that's wow. Would you do it, T-Rail? 
Passport boys? Yeah. If I was single, I'm passport out the game. <laughs> We'll see you later. Wait a minute. You know I mean? Wait a minute. Where we going? Brazil? Where oh, we at? Yeah. Puerto Rico? Oh, I don't know where. Oh, oh all this shit. You feel me? I, I, I know where you're I ain't been to Africa yet. T-Rail, t I'll take my ass over there. Hey, T-Rail, did you passport boys, Heather? From no, Dallas? I did not. I just thought you were going to eat a passport boy. That's Dallas. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, okay. But I did get a nice, this state of bros. wholesome Texas woman. You know what I mean? Wholesome? Nice, yeah, hey, cool. Hey, he didn't you met her on Twitter, hey, bitch. Hey, hey. Duno, Duno. You met her Duno, on Twitter, Duno, bitch. Duno. I mean, so what? Uh, you can she be was, on Twitter. Duno. Okay, do wait. Hold on. Duno. Yes. And you, you, you way younger than us. Yeah. It ain't too many young niggas doing cold approaches anymore, are they? What do you mean? Like, are you running into a female and you hollering at her right here on the spot? Because you be on Twitter throwing signals all the time. Oh yeah, you the be internet loving this shit. Oh bro, I, I love the pussy. Who wanna? I wanna eat the pussy. Bro, definitely. Who want hey, me to do it tonight? Bitch, can I answer my question? That's why punk get mad at you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, pun. You, pun, you like that one, pun? Pun, you like that one? You wouldn't even pay attention. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> he lying like a motherfucker. Yeah. Hey. That nigga's nah. in here. Yeah, hey. and I, but I definitely be at the gym. Like, what's that type shit? I don't know. What use my Instagram. Like. I don't know, but obviously, yes, for my generation, most of the time, we use our Instagram, we use social media, but I... I That's kind of creepy to holler at girls. Oh, so you taking advantage of bitches I, like that, too. <laughs> what the fuck? So you go up to the bitch, you try to approach her, and then you be like, yeah. No, I chop it up at the so gym. So you wanted to see your followers. I chop it up oh, at the gym. Oh, you's a bitch. Hey. Yeah. You use Tiger to knock Heather. You be uh, a follower. Bro, you've literally told me the story. Yo, you you no, no. let me in Vic. I'm <laughs> way more popular. Oh! <laughs> then I'll kill you, motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh. No, but look, but look. Hey, like, imagine seeing a fat ass nigga come out at the fucking gym. Yeah. Like, what? Like, get your big ass away from me. <laughs> bro. Get your ass on the treadmill, nigga. <laughs> bro, y'all really, bro. Do not get bitches, y'all. Stop playing with me. No, I believe you don't, that. dog. I, bro, what? I have a good sense of humor, you mean bitch. I'm not. I have a good sense of humor, too. Bro, Heather said you used to tell you for you called all types of bitches right when that you met That was my her. sense of humor. She didn't know it yet. She was from Texas. That's how I speak. See, that's how we speak. Back. And then when she got used to it, she like, oh, this nigga called. He funny as fuck. Like, she got used to it. You feel me? Like, And then you still made her cry. <laughs> yeah, bitch. She didn't say a sense of humor, bitch. Oh, all I'm saying on, is, all I'm, all I'm saying is, look, yes, for my generation now, we don't just give out the number where you got to call. You got to make sure you tell them what time. I'm sorry that you guys have to give them a time no, to call your house. I'm outro. talking about cold approach. Like you see a girl yeah, walk yeah. by and you, I, and you go holler, yes, hey, how you doing? Yes, I, I've definitely, I've definitely done. I can still do that. But, but now, but now in time, like now it's a little different because most of the time, wherever I'm at, the situation, they kind of already know who I am. But oh, if they don't, popping. but yes, but one one situation where they didn't know who I was, I was like, I told the homie, I was like, damn, bro, I wonder if I still got it. Nigga, you're 23 talking about, I still got it. You just starting. You feel damn. me? Because you high school. Three years old. Boy, that's, that's, so scary, going up. that's so scary, bro. Oh yeah, since we we since we on it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the, the, the whole topic. If y'all read the caption of today, the title of today's video is crazy. Should we DP Duno, man? Duno was at a party this the weekend. He didn't want to bring that up since we brought it up in the beginning. He didn't want to bring it up. 